Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good wherever you are. Um, welcome to this tech ed session about what's new with SAP Build Works on innovation meets productivity. My name is Sibylle Brehm. I'm a product manager for SAP Build Works on. And I brought two colleagues with me who will take a look at your chat, uh, at the chat and answer your questions um, as far as possible. And I also would like to take some time at the end of the presentation to go over your questions. So feel free to add whatever you want to know into the, into the chat. OK, let's get started. I'd like uh, to get started with some background. So of course, SAP Build Workzone is part of the SAP Business Technology Platform, a unified, open, business-centric public cloud platform that um, helps customers to innovate at the pace, at the speed that they need with different capabilities for app development, automation, integration, data and analytics, and of course, AI. And uh, when we talk about the speed of innovation, that was really also a reason to um, release SAP Build at TechEd last year, which is our low-code, no-code suite, which really helps business experts and key users also to develop apps, to uh, automate processes, and to design business sites with drag-and-drop simplicity. And since then, SAP Build has really reached a great momentum. And this year at TechEd, we uh, announced SAP Build Code, which is uh, AI code generation with dual uh, artificial intelligence optimized for Java and JavaScript. It provides a turnkey environment for for code developers for coding, testing, application lifecycle management, um, and integrations. And with the uh, build code app composability, also with the low-code suite and with the ABAP environment, uh, you can really choose, developers can really choose the environment that fits best for what they want to achieve. Now let's, let's go to SAP Build. As I said, it's a suite of three solutions. It allows you to build applications and it allows uh, also business experts and key users and not really the professional developers also to pro um, automate processes and to design business sites, all of them visually in a drag and drop environment. All of these solutions are integrated and work together and are, they are all based on the business technology platform. SAP Build Work Zone, the SAP Build Work Zone uh, portfolio uh, got a new child um, this summer. So we have now also SAP Start as part of this entry point um, family, so to say. And SAP Start is the central entry point to your SAP Cloud solutions. It's a very lean, um, very lean site that provides you search to all the applications in the attached um, cloud solutions, which provides access to a central task inbox where tasks from all different systems can come together. It provides insight cards that give business information right on this one page of SAP Start. And all of that for free as part of the SAP Cloud solution and with no configuration needed. So it's really quickly set up and no configuration needed. It's just, um, it works out of the box. If customers then want to enhance this with on-premise content, also bringing in uh, custom applications or third-party applications, then they can easily upgrade to SAP Buildworks on Standard Edition because SAP Start builds on the same foundation as SAP Buildworks on. And with the Standard Edition, customers can then um, easily build role-based page structures that really bring the users all the content they need to do their daily job. And in addition, they has, it has a lot of capabilities for branding and configuration to really um, to really adjust the solution to what uh, the end user needs. 
And if the customer then still wants to go beyond that, if they want really to build complete business sites for engaging with their uh, employees, but also with their business partners like suppliers or uh, vendors, then they can go to use the advanced edition that provides even more capabilities, even more widgets also for um, rich media integration, for integration of content management, for um, allowing also key users to build workspaces that really drive uh, productivity of their teams and um, of their project teams. So let's now take a look at the latest product innovations that we have made available in, these, um, in this portfolio. As I said, SAP Start just uh, got released in summer. So um, basically what's new is already, SAP Start is already what's new. So uh, the initial release was available for customers with Rise with SAP or Grow with SAP solutions contracts. And um, now the availability is being extended also for selected cloud solutions from SAP. And we are also adding additional business content from those cloud solutions. In the standard edition, we also had really a major release uh, in summer, which made available the new site experience. So what is the new site experience? The new site experience enables um, customers now to build pages and spaces in WorkZone, bringing together on one page content from different sources, like from success factors, from an Esfahana system, from an Esfahana cloud system, all together on one page. And in addition, it has a flexible and grid-based page builder. So it's not just a Fiori Launchpad experience, but you can also integrate um, UI integration cards that already show business information um, directly on the page without uh, the necessity to navigate uh, into an application. Besides this new site experience um, that has been made available, there are two other um, innovations I would like to mention. Um, now it's possible to show the source system name on a tile if you have situations where the same tile might come or the same app might come from different systems, you want um, end users to be able to differentiate, you can now display this source system name. And we also extended um, the number of languages that are supported per site. There was a limitation before, which has now been removed. And before we go into the news for the advanced edition, I would like to show you a short demo of this new site experience. So this is a site for a project manager, which was built with the standard edition of SAP Build Workzone. And as you can see, you can easily reuse the content that's been made available with SAP Start. So these uh, widgets up here, or these cards up here, are part of the SAP Start um, standard delivery. So what we have is we have an integration with the task center, and you can see the task. You can navigate into Task Center, but you could also right away here approve or reject so, uh, such a task. You can, but you can also add further cards or tiles to the page as you like and arrange them. You can have different pages that are sorted into spaces. For example, here I have the, a page built for the project manager that brings different cards with information about him. The, the, uh, this project manager's projects. And in addition to these pages that were built here directly on WorkZone, I can also integrate existing pages and spaces from, um, for example, in this case, an Esfahana cloud system. So they come uh, completely as they are with no effort here also from Esfahana cloud. So I could also navigate into these pages and spaces from S4HANA Cloud and then launch an application, for example.
Let's take a look at the administrator environment. This user is also an administrator. So from here, he can directly navigate into the administrator environment. And these are the site settings where the user can make a lot of configuration for what the site should look like. And for example, there's also this view mode where he now selected the new site experience and where you can also decide to show the source system name on the tiles, as I just said. So let's save this and navigate into the admin environment. And here is the content manager where all the content is, where I could easily create new um, apps, groups, pages, and spaces. And I have also prepared already an empty page that is already part of my site. So you can, we can take a look at it later. So I can just start by editing it. I can add a section to it and give it a name. And then I can start adding widgets. So let's add a card. For example, this project card. And then maybe another one. This one. And then I can add further columns if I want. So let's add some tiles as well. And maybe I want to search for tiles for the project manager. And let's just select some of them and add them here. And then I can easily rearrange the size of the columns. Let's keep it like this and save for now. And now I'm going to go back. Oops, that was going to go back to the page where I was before. And when I refresh now, I can see that now I see this system information on the tile. And when I navigate to this page that we just created, I can see my two cards and here the tiles that I created. Okay, let's go back to the um, to the advanced edition because there's interesting news there as well. Um, so what is new in the new in the advanced edition? There, for example, we enhanced the site menu. So now it's possible to add apps directly to the site menu. It's possible to show and hide the menu bar. And you can also define access controls so that some entries in the menu are just visible to a specific group of users. We have dynamic visibility for widgets and UI cards. And this is something that I will explain uh, later. So I'll go over it for now. We've enhanced the search experience, um, including also business apps. So before you could search for any type of content in forums, in the knowledge base, wherever. Now you can also search for business apps. And each user will, of course, only find those apps that he's also allowed to use. Another great thing is the site level preview release mechanism, which allows customers to define some sub accounts as test or development sub accounts and there make the preview available. So that new features come into these accounts one month earlier than in the productive accounts and um, customers can really test these advanced edition features and try them out and maybe uh, think how they can best uh, make use of them and, and benefit from them. And then once um, one month later, they become available in the productive environment. As part of the integration with SAP Build, we replaced the SAP Workflow Management Service with uh, the SAP Build Process Automation Solution. We are now able to show also tasks coming from WorkZone, from workspaces in the SAP Task Center app. And finally, also a great thing, um, we, you can now publish site announcements. For example, for any alert or for any news you want to share with all your users, you can easily define an announcement. And this will then show on as a pop-up for every user logging into the WorkZone site. OK, going back to the dynamic visibility and support for workspace types. Um, so this is really an example which combines two features that have been released one after the other. The support um, for content, for using content of private and external workspaces in a widget, um, which made it possible um, 
gave more, just gave more flexibility to people building pages so that they could not only choose um, from, the, from the content area, but also from workspaces. And then if a user opens a page and does not have um, permissions to this um, private workspace where the content is supposed to come from, then either this, um, depending on how the workspace is defined, he, the, the user can request access, and then he would get a link to request access, or he would be shown um, an information that this content is restricted. In a second step, we made another, um, we provided another feature to show and hide empty widgets. So it's now even possible to hide those widgets with the restricted content or also to hide empty cards. So this gives much more flexibility to the administrator, to the page designers, also not necessarily administrators, but also a key user that, that uh, design pages to really bring together so, uh, many pieces of content and then just have, it, have the content displayed per user um, according to what uh, this user um, is allowed to see and what, he's, what he can use. Okay, so where are we heading? What is planned for the next year? Um, we have this vision of this modular offering for a central entry point. I talked about it. We start, so SAP start is the very lean, very lean, uh, easy to use, um, limited with a limited, uh, limited functional scope. Then we have the start edition, which offers more capabilities, and then the advanced edition with really the full-blown capabilities. And be between those solutions, we are still in the process of unifying um, the experience and also on working on the upgrade path. And then, of course, we are also working on um, enhancing each of, these, um, of each of these editions and making features available across the editions or maybe some specific things for the advanced edition. You can find all this information on our, um, on our external roadmap, so I do not, uh, will not go into every detail, but um, you can find all the innovations that are planned there. Um, okay, so you can learn a lot at TechEd, of course, and we have also a great learning in general for application development and automation. There's a great course for SP Build Work Zone in there as well that is free of charge, uh, just the certification um, needs to be paid. So use this opportunity to learn more about SAP Build Work Zone. And with that, I would like um, to go over to the Q&A and see if there are any questions um, that you asked and that I could answer. Live Okay, so there's one question from Venkat, um, who asks, SAP Start offers out-of-the-box integration with SAP Task Center to do section, which is the central inbox solution of SAP BTP. But is there any step I have to do to see my Task Center in Start? Um, basically, there's a very lean setup process, so we have a booster, and uh, if you just, um, the, the administrator just needs to launch the booster and this booster automatically does all a lot of in, um, configuration steps in an automatic way so that they do not need to be done um, manually. So all the SAP start um, configuration is also done automatically as part of this booster. Um, another question, does SAP Build Works on advanced version created port pages portal for external users? Okay, so I assume the question is if it's possible to create also external sites with SAP Build Works on, and yes, of course, this is really um, a use case that we see quite often with our customers. So. Um, you can create sites for internal users, for your employees, but it's also possible to um, create 
uh, external sites to collaborate with suppliers, with customers, with vendors, and so on. Yes, there's a different um, uh, uh, different pricing model for that, and there's also a specific user type, external user, um, so that you can um, create a different view for external users than for internal users. Okay. When will the IAG Fiori tiles be supported by works on standard edition as in app? Right now it seems only to be possible to get a new browser tab opening. Um, I'm not really sure about the IAG Fiori tile specifically. So um, IAG is the identity access governments, I think. Um, in general, it's possible to launch applications uh, in, in place with SAP BuildWorks on Standard Edition, um, but uh, it depends on the in some, sometimes it depends on the application if the application is really supporting to be, uh, su that to be launched in an iframe. This is not always the case. Some apps do not support this launching in an iframe. Maybe this is the case for this application. So I'm not um, really sure what, uh, about this specific um, application, but this is something I would recommend to check. Okay. Is SAP BuildWorks on Advanced Edition available in the uh, SAP BTP free tier? No, unfortunately not. Uh, unfortunately, only the Standard Edition currently is available in free tier and also in, in the trial. Um, can I make an app displayed in the front page instead of just tiles? Um, what you can do is um, with the new site experience, you can add cards, but it's not uh, possible to, with the standard edition, I assume, it's not possible to have uh, a full page app. You, usually you'd have the tiles or you have the cards um, available on the site, on a page. Um, with OpenAI, we now have the capability to create content, HTML pages, PDF, articles, etc., automatically. Any plans for Gen AI features in the near future? Of course, this is something that we are monitoring very closely, so we are really um, looking into um, integration with, with Gen AI. This is a big topic, I think, uh, in general, all over SAP, so we are closely looking at integrating also with um, SAP Joule, there's already an integration planned with SAP Start, and it will also come in the other editions. Um, last one, it seems, can the BTP CIS IPS be used to provision users and authorizations in WorkZone in proxy mode? Okay, this is a bit a specific question. So it's about identity provisioning. If you can provision users in WorkZone, I think, uh, so IPS integration is supported. Um, SAP Build WorkZone integrates with IPS. You can, uh, for example, get your users from um, S4HANA Cloud or S4HANA and uh, federate or, or provision the user role assignments to SAP Build WorkZone. I think that it also works in proxy mode, um, as far as I know. With that, uh, I, I would like to thank you for your attention. It was a great pleasure to be here, and I wish you a great weekend. Goodbye.